I want to show you a new technique, or new to me anyway. If you have a look at this outboard motor, I've managed to write some text on it. Now, trying to hand paint that, I can't paint that perfectly. And also trying to line that up on uh, a UV is near on impossible. I mean, look how wiggly that is, just based on um, the unwrap that's going on here. It's hard to see the details of the unwrap, just because of the color and just how it matches. But um, take my word for it, trying to line up text to get it to look perfect, especially on something fairly irregular, is quite challenging. So credit where credit's due. This particular video from CG Fast Track, if you Google Blender 2.8 Beginner Tutorial Part 2 Sword, um, he's using a stencil. Um, so I watched his version, um, and I've also watched this version. So Grant Abbott has a great channel, I thoroughly recommend his channel, um, where he is also using stencils. I think Grant Abbott explains it a little bit better um, in, in a lot of regards, so I would probably start here. They both use a slightly different method to what I'm going to show, but um, essentially I'm going to show you my version. So I'm going to delete that and you'll see that that particular picture was the main thing that was contributing the text. So in Photoshop, I've made my stencil. So I just used the text tool and typed. Um, I had a white background, but I'm removing that white background. So you'll notice the checker texture here shows that it's transparent. And I've saved a couple of copies of that. So you'll need to prepare your version. My way of doing it is making use of the transparency and only painting on what you see here. So I think it's kind of a little bit simpler in that regard. So anyhow, jumping into Blender, one of the things that you'll need to do is unwrap. So you highlight object and you to unwrap and then I choose Smart UV Project and give that a couple of clicks. So there's an island margin and then you go OK. So this outboard motor has a material and I've already called it outboard paint and the base color here, um, if you want to see the exact hex color, um, you'll see it on screen there. So I'm just going to copy that because it's going to be quite useful to me. So in this area over here, I'm going to make a new texture. So I'll click new. This is going to be called outboard texture. And I'll put video on there because I've made it before and I want to make it different. I'm going to make this uh, 2K. So all I'm doing is just multiplying that by 2. And the base color for this, if I just paste that hex color in that I used before, then that's the color I had. You can use whatever color you want. I'm going to click OK. And I need to save that. So um, I can't see where there's an image save button on here, if there is one or not, but I know there is one under UV editing. There we go, so it's, um, I've just picked that from a list that's being held in Blender's memory, so I click image, and then I choose save as, and I'm gonna go to my boat, and I'm gonna put it in my textures folder. And so, outboard texture video, PNG, save as texture. So you can see the UVs here, so I'll come back to showing that part a little later, but you can kind of see the sides of the parts of the outboard. So next I'm gonna go into the texture paint. I'll clear that out, that's from a previous job. Um, and I can open that and we can see it. So um, this outboard is colored magenta or whatever it is. That is just the standard color for when um, there seems to be no, um, none applied, um, which is a little odd given that there is a, um, a texture applied, it's just a base color, but you can't texture paint on that because it's not connected. So in shading, what we're going to do is go Shift A 
and then search for image texture and then I'm going to connect color to base color now that base color that was there has now disappeared and then it goes black that's because we haven't actually opened the image now you can either click open and navigate to it or click open and choose from the list so that image is now wrapped on here what we're going to have to do is we're going to come to this texture setting so i'll just clear it out this is what it normally would look like so on the bottom of texture you click new and it'll say image or movie and that's what we want there's a big long list we're not going to use those but we're going to use image or movie and so now i have to actually go and open the image that i want to use so i'm going to go open textures and then this is my um, copy and I'll open that image and so we can see it there it's got transparency and um, and so on something else that we need to do after having done this and I think it may be showing because of my earlier practice if we come to this one here it's got a screwdriver and a wrench come down to texture and we have to choose I'll just clear that out like it was um, uh, as if it was fresh so texture so this part here where it says mapping stencil it's normally tiled so we have to just come down to texture mapping and change tiled to stencil and then open the stencil that you're going to use and so i should be able to just click and choose that stencil it's the same stencil i had before and now when i hover over the left hand side you'll see um, essentially the stencil that I'm going to use so when I hover over that section you'll see it appearing and disappearing now it is tricky to move this around so I'm going to look from the side and just something that was in the way so most of this is with right click so if I right click and move this around then I can move my stencil so right click only gets you to move it around and then there's some shortcut keys so if you hold shift and right click then you can change the scale if you hold command on a mac or alt on a pc you can rotate if you zoom with your scroll wheel you'll notice that it's zooming in on the model but not on the stencil so now it comes time to paint essentially all I'm doing with 100% strength is just painting over the top and then I'll move my stencil out of the way and I've now painted on top of my on top of my outboard motor now looking from the side there's another little trick that I would like to have a go at I'm not sure certain it's going to work so I'm going to pop into shading and I'm going to muck around with this metallic part on my principal BSDF so one thing that's really important to note is um, all about substances so they're either metallic or um, non. So if I drag that all the way to metallic you'll see it starts getting really shiny like you'd expect a metal to or it's non-metal. But we're going to make a map that's going to control that. Some text like for example this letter M for motor that could be done with shiny metal paint. I've seen that done and I think it looks uh, a really great technique so I'm going to have a go at doing that so shift a add and I click search and I type image push return and in here I'm going to connect color to metallic and it might do something weird but not at the moment so I'm going to make a new image and so this is going to be the outboard metalness map and I'm going to make that the same resolution 2k by 2k here is a texture map 
from Polygon. It's for a metal called gold. So the base color is yellow. This map is metalness. These are two versions of the normals. And the one on the right is the roughness map. And you can see black and it's, it's not rough at all. So what's important to know is that white is metalness and black will be non-metal. Now, metalness is white, 100% white. So if I just change all these RGB values all the way up to there, then that's going to say that it's 100% metalness, I hope. Otherwise, I'll look like a bit of a fool when I click that. There it is, looking just like it's metallic, 100% metallic. If I disconnect that and make that all the way up there, 100% metallic. Um, that particular image makes everything metallic. So eventually the silver writing will look like that. Now I made a wee mistake. Oh no, white is metallic. So I will clear that one out and I'll make a new document. And this one, instead of being all metal, it's going to be all non-metal. And now what I'm going to do is call this um, outboard metalness map 0 2 and then I'm going to go OK so that's saying the surface of that outboard is not metallic at the moment I'm going to paint that letter M O T O R and I'm going to make that metallic might even have a go with the 200 and make that a red metallic look so I'm hoping that's going to work out for me um, so I've made that image but I haven't saved it um, I find the easiest way to do that is to come over here and then um, so I'm going to get image save at the moment for there so that's just the outboard texture the 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 color version so if I come to um, outboard metalness map 2 keep that open now I can go image save as and then save that image if I don't save it it's going to be lost when I close the document so that's super important so we're back to texture paint shading there we go so I need to get into my texture paint and looking from the side so in the texture paint mode I'm now going to adjust these all right so I've lined that up badly So that's all lined up but very quickly I have to go into shading and instead of painting on the outboard texture that contributes to the color I'm going to paint onto the outboard metalness map so I'm going to left click on that it's really important to be clicked on that one because that's where we're going to be painting so back to texture paint now I had to line that up with the other texture highlighted so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be painting essentially white. I'm just scrubbing all over. White on this metalness map. Just making really sure I haven't moved any. Uh, sorry, I missed anything. I had the strength up to one, and you'll see that this metalness map is all black with a little bit of white. So then back to shading, I've essentially painted on that. Um, this image needs to be saved, image save. And if we have a close look under maybe rendered or something like that. All 
Right, we can see, tab out of edit mode, I've made the writing, um, now zooming in that far is obviously getting to the limit of the texture um, quality, because it's a raster image, it, you can see it's pixelated on the edge, but the letters M, O, T, O, R um, look metallic, as does the red, so that's a red metallic, and this black here is just plain black. So if you wanted to make that gold, instead of painting that a slight gray color as I did, you'd use yellow. So I think that's a pretty cool technique to um, essentially paint something and you can even muck about with metalness maps. If you really wanted to, you could muck about with um, some other things like roughness maps. So on the aspects of your boat where you're going to have rough flooring, you might paint part of that rough or not. Um, those are things I would consider doing. Um, you may even, with a bump map, paint in a few grooves um, rather than modeling them in. I think that would be a really good technique. Um, rather than hand paint, I might make a stencil for some of those. Here's a final render of what it looks like. I wish I'd lined up the lights just a bit better so it would reflect off the words, but you can see the top of the M's quite shiny.